What's up guys? So uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, start working on the wiring for the 1UZ swap in the 2001 IS300. Um, this is probably going to get broken up into multiple videos. Um, I'm going to go through showing what I'm trying to do as far as converting everything over. The ECU that was in there for the 2JZ has the same um, style of electrical connectors as the 1UZ uh, ECU. Uh, the body connector is different, but the ECU connectors, the pin, not the, the pin locations of the wires are different, but the pins and the connectors themselves are the same. So I can repin uh, the stuff from coming from the IS300, don't plug it into the computer, into the correct pins for the 1UZ ECU. I'm gonna show you how I go about doing all that. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a IS300 uh, full electrical wiring diagram, and then I've got a full wiring diagram for the 98 GS400 that the motor came out of. Um, I'm gonna go through and show you what connectors I'm actually looking for as far as uh, making connections because there's three of them that are specifically for the engine. I won't have to mess with those. There's three that connect into the body that go to like the instrument cluster, the uh, ABS module, the traction control module, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be the uh, three additional connectors that I have to repin. So what I did was the original engine that was on the that was in the IS, um, I cut the engine harness off. I cut it off right after it exits the ECU box, and uh, I saved all the the three connectors that go into the ECU, and then there's three additional connectors that hook into different uh, connectors in the front for, I would imagine it's for headlights and stuff. I haven't really looked to see what they do yet, but they're body connectors to connect into the engine harness. Um, so I'm gonna start working on that. I'm gonna show you basically what I'm gonna start out doing. I'm, I'm gonna start pinning out the three ECU connectors that I need to, to modify, and I'm probably just gonna cover that stuff that I'm modifying for the ECU itself. And then the next video will probably be for the body modules, uh, for the wiring for the body modules. And then uh, I'll get into making the immobilizer work. And uh, because I'm, I'm planning on reusing all of the wiring that is in the IS300 and just using the components out of the GS400, uh, the reluctor ring for the ignition switch, the RF chip for the key, and then the ECU and the instrument cluster. I'm hoping that I can just repin what I need to repin and be able to use the existing body wiring harness that's in there. I should be able to. Uh, it should be looking at the wiring diagrams. Now that I've seen both sets of wiring diagrams, it looks like it's very possible. So I'm gonna try and get this thing done exactly like I did my Audi. I'm gonna have all of the body modules uh, ABS module, traction control, all that shit's going to communicate the way that it's supposed to and uh, function the way that it should from OEM. So hopefully this will uh, shed some light on how to do this for people that are trying to do a similar swap. So I just want you guys to see how long of a long and tedious process this is. So I'm having to go through diagrams, match the connector description to what's in the diagram, figure out the pin location, then cross-reference it and write down what wire it is. And I did this for the entire 1UZ. So I've got every wire for the entire ECU uh, pinned out. And now I'm going to do it for the 2J and try and match them up. And then what I have to do is these are, these are the wiring connectors out of the uh, IS300. I have all the connectors from the 1UZ. This connector, this connector, and this connector are still in the IS300. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and figure out what pins I need to repin on these three connectors and then repin, or these, these two in this one. And then if I need to repin anything from some of the body connectors going into any of these connectors, I will add those pins because I've got the original body connector. Um, so the, these two are ECU connectors. They're the first two. So they're that one and that one. And then this is a body pin connector. This is a body pin connector right here. And these two. 
So I'm gonna figure out how all those go. And then what I'm gonna do is I have the body connector from the GS400. So that body connector is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tap these wires into these wires so that I can make a little jumper harness. So this will plug into the original connectors in the IS, and then this will plug into the original connector for the 1UZ. Okay guys, so you can see it's been a long day. I've spent uh, quite a few hours getting all this squared away, but I got all of the connectors pinned out, figured out what each one of them is, uh, you'll be able to pause this and look at my pinouts if you want to, but uh, verify for yourself. I don't want to be held responsible for anybody screwing up their car from going off my wiring. But now what I'm going to do is now that I have all the pins figured out for each one of the cars, I'm going to start matching wire for wire, figure out what pins have to be moved, what wires are not needed, what wires are needed to be added. And we'll cover all that uh, here in the next little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to take a break and go to bed and pick, up, pick back up on this thing tomorrow and uh, see if I can get the jumper harness figured out. And then it'll be moving on to the uh, ABS and traction control computer and the uh, instrument cluster and the transponder for the key fob and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll get into some pretty interesting stuff here. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. I'm back at it. Uh, as you can see, I've got all my ECU pinouts done. And then what I did was I made a little cheat sheet for what connectors need to be changed to what location. Uh, this is probably going to look like Greek to you guys because you don't know my key for all this. But I'm going to simplify it. When I, get, when I figure out all the wires, I'm actually going to simplify it and label what connector is what. And then uh, that way it'll be easier for people to do this in the future. But um, that's all. This is just for the ECM. Uh, I do not have any other stuff for the body control module, uh, for the ABS traction control, any of that stuff. This is strictly for the ECU so that I can get that wiring done. Then I'll focus on doing the uh, ABS and traction control and the uh, theft deterrent and all that kind of stuff. So I had to get all the animals out of the house uh, for showing. So I have uh, four cats, uh, three dogs, and two ferrets in the car with me. I still got three dogs at the house that are outside. Uh, these are all my daughter's dogs and her ferrets. And then the cats, I told my wife to bring home one and she brought home three. So I don't know. But anyway, I've uh, been working on getting the jumper harness figured out. Uh, I've made a little bit of progress on that. Um, when I get back to the house after after the showing, um, I'm going to show you guys what I, what progress I've made on the jumper, um, what I need to do as far as what wires need to be moved, how they need to be routed because they're being moved. Um, that's the other uh, issue is because some of them... You have to disconnect them from the ECU pin and then you have to run them through the body harness so that it'll hook into the other connector going into the ECU, I think. I, I haven't fully figured it out yet. I'm still looking to see how, it's, how I'm gonna need to route some of the wires. Uh, it looks like some of them will have to be that way. Some of them will actually, I'm trying to make it to where I can still disconnect um, the engine the way that it was disconnected when I pulled the 2J out. So I'd like to be able to, I don't wanna have to run wires from the wiring coming from the body going into the ECU if I don't have to. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to run all that stuff through one of the body connectors to make it to where it still disconnects the same way as factory. So that's, that's some of the stuff that I'm trying to figure out because I want it to look as stock as possible. Um, I know it's not really going to be possible to make it look completely stock, but I'm going to go as, as close as I can. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. I'll give you an update here in just another second. All right, guys. So this is what I finally came up with, uh, for what I need to do as far as jumpers. So this is going to be the dark gray connector on the ECU. So I'm going to show you 
what each one of these connectors is as I'm telling you which one's pinned out. So that's gonna be this first dark gray connector is gonna be A. And then I just labeled them A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. So start out with a 26 pin, then 22 pin, 28 pin, 17 pin, 24 pin, and 31 pin. These are the only wires that I know of right now that have to be moved to a different location. Now, some of these may not need to be moved. Some of them may need to be moved. It's all going to be based on what connector I'm using now. Um, pretty much D, E, and F don't need to be moved unless they feed back into the car. A, B, and C, whatever is on A, B, and C has to be moved because that is what is still in the Lexus, still in the IS300 out there. So this would be pin A and this connector, this connector, and this connector are still in the Lexus. Uh, these three connectors right here, so this would be D, E, and F, are going to be these down here. And I shouldn't have to change any of these unless they go into the body. Um, so these may not be important, but I went ahead and marked which wires were different just in case I needed to know. I do know that the canister vent valve will have to be run. It'll have to be removed from the pin that it's in currently. It'll have to be routed through the body control or through the body plugs so that it can go up to one of the connectors that's already in the engine wiring harness. So um, that's the only major one that I see so far. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at this and show you what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, so this is what I'm talking about when I say that the three connectors are still in here in the car. So these are the three connectors that are going to be um, already on the engine harness. So I shouldn't have to move any of that stuff. Um, what I may have to move, or what I know I'm going to have to move, is the stuff that's in these three connectors here, and then what's in these three body connectors here, and then this, I believe, is a shunt. I'm not 100% certain. It might actually be open, but all the grounds hook into the connector that just clips into here. I don't know if it's a shunt on there or not. I'll have to damn take it off and see. Um, but it's all the grounds for the O2 sensors and the um, like oil level sensor and all that stuff. All those grounds get hooked into this connector. And then you've got these three body connectors for your, uh, I don't know what all runs through them yet. I haven't really looked. But, and then you've got your feed in wires from the rest of the car going into the ECU. So that's going to be for your ABS traction control, your freaking. Um, cruise control, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is all gonna be uh, sensors and inputs from the in actual engine itself. So that's uh, this is what I'm gonna have to repin out here. I shouldn't have to repin, I shouldn't have to repin anything coming from the engine into the ECU. That, that should never have to happen as far as from the engine to the ECU. But if there's wires coming out of this harness that are supposed to be going into these plugs, then what I'll have to do is I'll have to take the wires out of these harnesses, run them through one of these three harnesses so that I can feed it into the other three plugs to go into the ECU. So that's that's what I'm trying to explain that I'm going to do. So hope that makes it a little clearer. Okay, guys, so I've been trying to figure out the uh, pinout locations of the body plugs so that I can get all this stuff figured out. So I've completely figured out this entire plug. I've figured out this entire plug. I'm having a hard time finding this plug. That's not the right number for it. But I'm having a hard time finding this plug so that I can figure out what wires I need to hook up through this plug. So once I figure it out, it'll be a little bit easier. But I got all these figured out, all these figured out, all these figured out. So I should be able to start figuring out my jumper uh, situation here within the next couple hours and uh, hopefully have a uh, update on the uh, jumper harness that I'm making. All right guys, so I have pinned out the entire ECU, figured out what wires need to be moved for the ECU. These are the, this is the connector, one of the body connectors from the IS. This is the other connector from the IS. This is a junction connector, so these just jumper into each other. 
Um, and then this is the body connector for the 1UZ. So I've been figuring out what wires have to be moved, um, how I'm gonna have to route them and all that. I think I've come up with a pretty decent plan, um, but I'm gonna wait until I execute it and uh, I'll include that in the next video. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with what I've got here. And uh... All right guys, so uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I actually do the uh, jumper harness what wires get hooked into where, how I'm gonna route everything, because I'm gonna have to get a little bit tricky and creative on how I'm doing this. Um, I believe what I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna have to hardwire some of the wires from the one UZ connector into the A, B, and C connectors of the ECU, and then um, hardwire some of the body connectors from the IS into the uh, ECU connectors from the one you Z. So after I do that, I'll give you an update and that'll be in the next video. So if you like what you saw in this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, like always, and uh, show your friends what I'm doing and hopefully the channel can continue to grow. I appreciate everybody for your uh, support. Thanks, have a great day.